Are you feeling frustrated? Do you feel you're at the verge of giving up and you feel maybe things are not uh, are not moving in your life? You feel like maybe you're cursed or there's something wrong with you? Well, I've been there and you know what? The reason why we, we most times we give up or get frustrated is because we are focusing on what is on our neighbor's plate and not focusing on what God is saying at that moment in that situation and, what, and focusing on what is on our plate. You know, I remember when I had... Um, completed school I was so eager to get into college and I had started applying you know but then before that I was busy looking at my friends those people that I was with at school and some of them were already getting into college the following year the following year and some of them had um, already started working so I was wondering what is wrong with me why is it that my friends are already making it in life and I'm still here you know and so I started applying for courses uh, at universities and colleges and it was so, it came to a, a point where even when I was accepted, uh, finances were, were a hindrance for me to get into college. And it became waste for me because I was thinking, what is wrong with you, Gracious, you know? Why, why are things not going my way? Why, why am I not making progress in life? So today I want to... I want to read uh, from Ecclesiastes 9.11 and it says, I have seen something under the sun. The race is not to the swift or the battle to the strong, nor does food come to the wise or wealth to the brilliant or favor to the land, but time and chance, time and chance happens to them all. Fast forward, here I am, I'm, I'm done with my college and by God's grace, going to do another, another course. So, you know, you may be there and you say, you're say saying maybe, why is it so difficult for me to, to wait on God? It's, it's, very, it's very important for us to learn to wait on God, to, to learn to, you know, most of us trust God, but we don't want to trust His timing, you know? So... We need to trust God's timing. And you may be there and you, you, you're saying, you know, why is it so difficult for me to wait on God? I'm finding it very difficult to wait on God. Let me talk about three things. Although there are more, but I'll just talk about the three things. Number one, these are the things that uh, make, make it hard for people to wait on God. Number one, it's comparison. So with comparison, you will see your friends making, uh, posting some good photos on Facebook that maybe they are on a vacation or maybe they are in college or maybe uh, they are working, they've just taken a selfie, they're in the office and those are the people you were with at school and you are still there, you haven't yet gone to college, you are not working, you are just at home. So you will feel frustrated because you start comparing yourself to, to the life of that of your friend and say, something is wrong with me why is it that that person is there and i am here i'm not making any progress you know so secondly uh the other thing that makes it difficult for us to to trust to be patient and wait on god's time is fear you know you see your friends getting engaged getting married having children and maybe you're of the same age and you're thinking maybe you were playing together and you're thinking but why with me, I'm just having broken relationships, or maybe I'm the only one dancing on their lineups, maybe I've danced on 10 lineups or so, and I haven't yet found a partner to settle down with. So you begin to start fearing and say, maybe by next year, probably all my friends will be married and I'll be the only person who is still single, you know? You, you, you begin to, fear begins to creep in you and you start thinking, something is wrong with me, maybe I'm cursed. Why is it that my friends are, are getting married and I'm here still going back and forth, going back into, uh, uh, going around circles, with broken relationships. And the third thing that I want to talk about is the pressure of society. The pressure of society is real. Society today has created a certain standard or certain goals that you have to achieve in order for you to be considered important or maybe for you to be recognized or maybe for you to be likable you know people who are making it in life maybe they're on the spotlight and they're likable by other people because they have a certain standard a certain status in the society and you feel there's so much pressure on you because you feel everyone is doing big in society and maybe i'm the only one who's remaining behind you know i can go on and on with with 
examples that maybe uh, make you or make us as human beings find it hard to wait on God and to be patient. And I have learned that, you know, you, you need to go through certain things in order for you to appreciate them. You know, just like maybe, for instance, when you're baking, yeah? When you're baking, for, for instance, you're baking a cake, you have to, to do the mixtures, you mix the ingredients, you have to go, the cake will need to go in the oven before it is, you know, it can, it's a finished product. So it's the same with you. God is taking you in a process of waiting. You know, you're going through process. So the moment we, we, we decide to jump process and just go to the product or the result, it will be very difficult for us to sustain the, the product or to sustain what we have invested. Why? Because we did not go through the process, you know. So sometimes you may, you, you may feel maybe I am cursed or maybe if you go to church and maybe you go to these papas, they will even tell you, oh, it's your, it's your mother, oh, it's your sister, oh, it's your cousin. Who's the, where's the enemy will now start bringing in those dreams, those weird dreams, and you will confirm, oh my God, it's true what that papa said. It's very true. I think my, my, my aunt is the one uh, causing all these problems, causing me to be stagnant, you know. But the thing is, you have just failed to wait on God. You have failed to be in the waiting room. You have refused to, to, to accept that in as much as I trust God, I need, I need to trust His timing. Hallelujah. So I want to, to encourage you. You know, I love what the Word of God says in Jeremiah 29. The Word of God says, For I know the plans I have for you, plans not to harm you, plans of prosperity, you know. And it's, 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 it's a good verse to read. But then we, it does not tell us about uh, the waiting, you know. God has a plan for us, yes. But it doesn't mean that it will just go from man up to and then you, you, you encounter all the breakthroughs. You need to go through the process. There's a process of praying. There's a process of uh, standing on God's way. There's a process of waiting. Hallelujah. So I want to encourage you to say your turn will come when things things will turn around in your life don't don't be so focused on looking at what is going on uh, on the other person's plate or what is going on in another person's life focus on yourself because if you focus on what is going on around the people uh, the people that you you mingle with or you when you look at your circles you 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 will find it very difficult to you find it very difficult to hear God because it, it will feel like you're in a storm and then it's noisy and you are trying to find a way of where to come out from. But what is God saying in that storm? What is God telling you in that situation? You know, why is it, why is it, uh, maybe you're tired of maybe applying uh, for jobs or maybe for a scholarship, you know, and it, it's, it's normal, yes, to feel like, why am I not progressing? It's normal. Why? Because each and every person wants to, to succeed in this life. Each and every person has got ambitions, goals and dreams. And you also are not an exception. You know, you have, the, you have your dreams, you have your goals, and you want to achieve them. But you need to know that you need to go through the process. You need to wait. I, I, I was telling myself the other time to say, you know, looking back at where God has taken me from, if I had not, if I had not submitted or surrendered to process, I don't know where I would be now because I would have fought my way into making things happen. I would have fought my way into uh, going to college and everything. Maybe it wasn't that it wasn't the right time for me to go to college then because I wasn't ready maybe for the process in, in college, being in college and everything. But God had to prepare me, you know, for a time such as that. So today I want to pray for somebody who is feeling maybe I'm at the verge of giving up things. I'm just so tired of life. I'm tired of things not moving the way I want them to go. I, I, I feel it's not working for me and I don't know what I can do because I've tried everything. I've applied for scholarships. I've, 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 I've given my all in relationships, you know. I, it, I feel... It's just not waking. I'm just stagnant. I'm just on one place. Beloved, please know, please know that God is in control. God is in control. He watches over you day and night. And the fact that you are alive today, it means that God's plans for your life are indeed going to manifest in your life. 
but it, 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 it will take time, you know. Though it tallies, it will wait for its appointed time. So maybe the appointed time is not now. You need to hang in, you need to hang in there, you need to, to hold on a little bit and continue while you are holding on, while you are waiting for God to to bless you, to answer your prayers, you need to trust him. You need to trust his word. Stand on his word. Stand, st pray on your knees. You know, stand on God's word. Trust God and, you know, just, just believe that God will come through for you. Hallelujah. So let me pray for you. Father, I pray for every person right now, King of Glory, who is watching this video, oh Lord, and is at the verge of giving up and feels that, uh, their life is stagnant. I pray the Lord King of Glory as you have blessed them in the waiting room, O Lord. Give them the grace of God to wait on you, O Lord. I pray that your hover, Jerry, you will teach them your ways of God in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray that, Father, that they shall not run away from process, but they shall hold on, O God, our Father, and persevere in their process, King of Glory, our Father, until their victory, O God, comes to pass in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray the Lord Jehovah, Jerry, let someone who is discouraged today, O God, be encouraged in the mighty name of Jesus, that they are not in this alone, Abba Father, that you will come through for them in the mighty name of Jesus. I give you glory, Lord. I pray that, Father God, let your power be made manifest in their lives in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, O Lord. I pray with thanks in my, in my heart. Amen. Hallelujah. So, as I said, please, wait on god wait on god wait on god trust the process when god is taking you through the process you are guaranteed of victory why and unless it was man man can take you through the process but man is man they are they, are, they can disappoint you they can change their mind but god does not change his mind god sticks to his word his word is yes and amen so it's like you are someone has promised you uh, a gift and they're saying okay i'm bringing the gift to you but let me find you at lima tower station don't move i'm bringing the gift to you and because you feel okay you're looking at time maybe you agreed to say okay that person will come at 10 hours and maybe it's 11 hours and the person hasn't yet showed up and you feel oh no i, I think it was a well hour let me just let me just go they will find they'll call me if they want to bring the gift they'll just call me and come at home and then you leave so the person will come at Lima Tower where you agreed to meet and will not find you. So it's the same with God. God has promised you great and mighty plans for you. God has great and beautiful plans for you. And he has promised you that it may tell you, but it awaits its appointed time and God will deliver. So he tells you, I will find you at such a place. Let me meet you there as I bring to deliver your breakthrough that you prayed for. And then because you feel you're frustrated, you're busy looking at the left or the right and seeing what, what is going on on social media, what people are posting, people are, are setting goals, people are making it in life and you feel, oh no, let me just move, God has delayed, let me just move and uh, force my way into making things happen. And then God will come and deliver your breakthrough and will not find you at that place where he told you he needs to find you. It means you have missed God, you have missed, you will miss the blessings that God has for you. So hang in there, I know it may be difficult, you may feel discouraged, but I've come to encourage you that God is in control. Rely on God, trust his time, trust in his time, trust in the process that God is taking you through and you will definitely see your victory in Jesus name. So thank you so much for watching. My name is Gracious Kaliondo and look out for my next video. If you, are not, if, you, if you haven't yet liked my page on Facebook, please do like the page, The Purpose Walk and may God bless you. Thank you.